Okay, so this one we're looking at black sea cucumbers, and I'm talking specifically about the black ones here. A lot of sea cucumbers can emit a venom, polythurian toxin, which can be particularly nasty. And if it's a large cucumber in a relatively small tank, that can be fatal to the inhabitants of the aquarium. Black sea cucumbers are probably the most common one to do this, and that's because of the enormous size they can reach. Um, they're typically a sand dwelling species, or although commonly called black, you may see them in a sandy colour as well. They rummage through the sand bed, they fill food from the water, and they sift through the sand. Great additions, make an excellent job of keeping your sand in tip top condition. The problem is they can reach commonly three feet, and occasionally four foot and even five foot specimens are seen. So they do get exceptionally large. And although the venom in them isn't especially toxic due to the large size of the cucumber, if it eventually succumbs for whatever reason, often from starvation due to its enormous size and the sand bed unable to support it, also because it could have been attacked, sucked in powerheads, various other reasons, the toxin can be a complete tank wipe. Um, if you're looking at alternatives for keeping your sand clean, look at things like Buller Conscious, Sand Sifting Starfish and Chalk Gobies, which make an excellent way of doing it. If you do want a sea cucumber, then I'd either look at yellow dwarf sea cucumbers or tiger tail sea cucumbers, both of which are much smaller, have very little toxin, and even in a tiny tank are unlikely to cause any damage. Make sure you check out our other videos in our Ask James series.